Hey, my name is Viktor Tsaikovsky, and I was born in Belarus, and from a very young age, um, my biological father divorced my mom, and since uh, my very early childhood, I was uh, raised up without a father. And on top of that, my mother was uh, constantly moving from city to city for better job opportunities, so I ended up uh, alone uh, without really much friends throughout my whole childhood. Um, and uh, growing up, I, I was truly just kind of growing up by myself and uh, in my childhood as well, I, I became uh, an atheist. I, I adopted a, a worldview of atheism and I, and I truly believe that uh, there is no such thing as God. Uh, you know, uh, it actually became to me almost as a sport to argue Christians and to deceive Christians out of uh, their belief into Jesus. Uh, because um, I was so radical for atheism, I was so radically uh, uh, believing in atheism that there's no such thing as God. And as I, as I was growing up older, uh, my mom actually got married again. And now this time it was my stepfather and my mom and they were both uh, uh, abusing alcohol and there was also drug abuse in my family. And at the age of around 15, my mom got divorced again. And this time, uh, me, my mom and my sister, we moved to the United States of America. Uh, and here in America, our life was very challenging. Uh, I, you know, just trying to, my mom trying to provide for our family, working two, two shifts just to provide for my family. And then sometime our stepfather actually moved here to the United States as well and he reached out to us uh, saying that he got saved, that he you now is a changed man, he, uh, he no longer does drugs and um, consume alcohol, which we found very hard to believe. Uh, you know, me being atheist, I rejected that idea of church right away and I thought that man is as a liar, he did not change. Uh, but either way, as the time went by, uh, my family slowly got reunited again and uh, my mom remarried that man again, my stepfather, and uh, slowly but surely my family started coming to church, but me myself, uh, um, I still wasn't a solid believer. I, I, I was deep in my pride, believing that there is no such thing as God, and uh, really married to the idea uh, of atheism. And as the time went by, I became a halfway in, halfway out believer. I was a certain person during Sunday service, but a certain person outside of Sunday service, a completely different person. Um, but two years ago, something radical happened to me. I had a supernatural encounter with God, with Holy Spirit. And on that night, as I was uh, going through the prayer, uh, getting prayed over, uh, I just collapsed on, uh, from, from, from my legs and I was on the floor for three, four hours just encountering God. And uh, God never, at that moment, seemed more real to me than ever before. At that moment, uh, I believe, is when God completely delivered me, completely set me free and transformed me from uh, in, inside out. At that moment, I experienced the presence and the love of the Holy Spirit like I never felt it before. And uh, since that day, God broke off so many things from my life. He broke off that doubt and unbelief and He broke off uh, like a pornography addiction and He truly changed my heart uh, into what I'm here now today. Uh, he changed my mind. And ever since that encounter, my life has been transformed. My life has been changed. Ever since I surrendered my life to God, and, and took that step of faith from being an atheist to believing in God and believing in His power because that same power and the power of God hit me and completely transformed my life. And I, now I'm here today at a hungry gen in the ship. I'm here learning about deliverance. I'm here learning about supernatural, about healing, about the Word of God and really going deeper into the Word of God. And I'm, I'm excited to see what God is going to be doing in my life excited to what God is going to do through me. I'm excited to see deliverance as healings and supernatural activated in my life through the power of God. I believe that today, the same thing that God did for me, He can do for you as well. He can take that same unbelief, even though I did not believe in God, even though I cursed God, God still chose me. God still believed in me. God loved me and God encountered me even in the midst of all my unbelief, in the midst of me denying Him, denying His existence, God loved me and God chose me and God encountered me. So I believe that today God has the same opportunity for you. And if today you find yourself in a position where you don't believe in God, or you find yourself in a position where you're struggling with addictions, or your family struggling with addictions, or you you're, you're find it hard to believe that there's such thing as God, I want to encourage you to 
today make that step and believe that there is God, that He is pursuing you today. As you're watching this right now, God is with you, God sees you, and God is pursuing your heart today. And I want you to invite you, I want to invite you to repeat this prayer with me and to invite God in your life because I believe that He will truly change your life. He will truly change the course of your life forever, for eternity. And today He can grant you the gift of everlasting life. He can deliver you and He can set you free. So just repeat this after me. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would just fill me right now. I give my life to you. I ask that you would deliver me, set me free, heal me, save me. And today, God, I surrender my life to you. I give you everything I have and I ask for your forgiveness. Let your blood cleanse me today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey, and if you prayed this prayer, uh, I want to encourage you, get plugged in, get plugged in into the Word of God. Start reading scriptures, start reading scriptures every day. Start in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, John, and Luke. Start reading the Bible, start reading the Word of God, start praying and, and, and uh, seek, that, seek to be connected to church, connect uh, uh, to uh, maybe even a hungry gen online. Uh, start coming to church and start going after God and He will show you, He will reveal to you all His glory, all what He has for you. Seek God, He will encounter you. He will show you all His glory, all that He has for you, for your life. He will truly transform you and I believe the same thing He did for me, He will do in your life also. He will deliver you, He will heal you and that same power is available to you here today.